Now taking a look at some news on the national front, electronic cigarette maker Jewel Labs will pay $462 million to six states in the District of Columbia, making the largest settlement the company has reached so far in its role in the youth vaping surge. The attorneys general of several states made that announcement on Wednesday, April the 12th. The agreement with New York, California, Colorado, Illinois, Massachusetts, New Mexico, and Washington, D.C. is the latest in a string of recent legal agreements that Juul has reached to settle the lawsuits related to the way it marketed addictive nicotine products. Now, critics said that Juul was trying to lure children too young to smoke. Like some other settlements reached by Juul, the latest includes restrictions on the marketing and distribution of the company's vaping products. For example, it's barred from any direct or indirect marketing that targets youth, which includes anyone under the age of 35. Juul will also limit the amount of purchases that customers can make in retail stores and online. Juul rocketed to the top of the U.S. vaping market about five years ago with the popularity of flavors such as mango, mint, and creme brulee. But the startup's rise was fueled by use among teenagers, some of whom became hooked on Juul's high nicotine pods. Parents, school administrators, and politicians have largely blamed the company for a surge in underage vaping. In September, Juul agreed to pay nearly $440 million over a period of six to ten years to settle a two-year investigation by 33 states into the marketing of its high-nicotine vaping products to young people.